What's up guys and welcome to this action RPG tutorial about vendors. So when it comes to vendors, it's pretty straightforward. All you have to do here is go to inventory system, then uh, vendor, and then you have BP vendor main. And what you want to do here is simply create a child out of this class. So you want to right click here, create a child, and that will create a child out of that blueprint. So we can, for example, uh, name it BP new, new vendor. Let's go and open our BP new vendor and open the full blueprint there. And of course it's based on a, a character blueprint, but feel free to open BP vendor main and change it to something more simple, such as an actor. So when it comes to vendor, we have these settings right here. So we have the vendor name, which is of course new vendor as an example. And right here, we want to indicate the items that should be sold by this vendor. So if we click, click on the plus sign, and then expand this it wants an item id these are from the data uh, the pickup data tables so for example we can look inside the weapons data table and we can simply copy these ids right here so for example let's say that this vendor sells an axe for example so item id axe it exists inside the weapons data table and then the price um, so for example let's just say that this one costs one gold and of course, here is the custom image. So if you don't indicate an, a custom image, then the one from the data table is going to be used. So this is obviously for buying something from the vendor. To sell something to the vendor, you want to indicate the sell price inside the data table itself. So if we go here to vendor sell value, and this is where you indicate how much the vendor uh, will give you when you sell the item to that vendor. Since this vendor sells this axe for one gold, Let's just say he gives us maybe 50 silver instead. So that would be the sell value. And of course you wanna to go to the uh, inventory component inside the player controller. And you wanna customize your uh, settings right here. So sell mouse key. This is the key that's used to sell something to the vendor. And this is also the uh, item or the key used to buy the uh, something from the vendor so either uh, right click left mouse or right double click here um so going back here let's uh, go ahead and add more items uh for example let's go ahead and add this um hammer uh, as an example so we want to copy the item id go back here and do uh, add another item here that would be the item id and this one also exists inside the weapons and we can also maybe uh, add something from the armor data table so this is going to be um, armor. So I know there is an armor uh, with uh, armor as an ID, item ID there. And of course it's going to be from the armor data table. And here we forgot to indicate the price. This is going to be maybe one gold and 50 silver. And for the hammer here, we can, for example, say that it costs maybe two gold and maybe 25 copper, why not? Let's go and add our BP new vendor to the world here. Then if you go ahead and play, we should be able to see the name here, new vendor. And if we interact with the vendor, we see this costs one gold as we indicated, one uh, gold and 50 silver. And of course this one, two gold and 25 copper. In the vendor settings, there's another uh, uh, setting here called useful inventory. And this one uses the jigsaw type of inventory, just like your main inventory. And you can indicate how many rows and columns. For example, you can say 10 rows and maybe eight columns. And if we uh, go ahead and interact with the vendor, uh, as you can see now we use a grid type inventory and to see the price you have to hover over the item and as you can see there it says this one costs two gold uh, one gold and 50 silver and one gold and of course we can use the keys that we uh, set up to purchase so as you can see it's going to say no not enough credits and if we pick up some gold here and then buy this armor as you can see it's going to be bought there and of course i can also double click here to sell the items and of course receive some gold there based on what I indicated inside the data table. Some other settings you can change are if you uh, click on add new here, override function, and there is a git outline color function that you can override here. So there you go, git outline color, and you can select your custom outline color, for example, red. And what this is gonna do is if you hover over the, ven uh, the vendor, as you can see now the outline color is red. Also, you can customize the distance of the interaction. So if we click on add new override function, we have get acceptable distance. And if I put something like a thousand here, we can actually interact with the vendor from this distance, right? For example, far away, you can still click on the vendor and open the vendor um, window. So, so that's it for vendors. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to watch the other videos to learn more about the system. 
And until then, thank you for watching. Stay safe and see you later. Goodbye.